Hey, it's me, Raika. Today we're going to have a look at Taylin, the Rising Phoenix from the Celestial Faction. Now, this hero wears a leather-based gear, is part of the support class, and a primary role is to provide a significant amount of healing, stall, and distraction for your teammates during battle. So let's have a look at her skills. Her ultimate ability, Fireborn. Taylin goes into a Phoenix form that lasts until death and converts her current health into a permanent shield of equal value, plus an additional permanent shield on top of that that is equal to her max health. Taylene's normal attacks will turn into a close range area attack that deals AoE damage while in Phoenix form. So as we can see over here, she'll convert 90% of her current health into a permanent shield value. So if she's constantly being healed and converting the shield, she'll have a massive shield as the battle progresses. Now, in addition, she'll also get a 20% extra of her max health whenever the shield is being created. Taylene's normal attacks will turn into a close range attack and it will deal 150% damage while in this Phoenix form. So this Phoenix form is she'll be flying across the battle and slashing and swiping across the enemies. The level two, when in Phoenix form, the normal attacks deal additional damage that is equal to the remaining shield value produced by her shield skills. So as we can see, she'll deal 20% of her extra damage based on the amount that this shield is currently at. The level three, additional shield is equal to 25% of Taylene's max health. So it's from 20 to 25%. So the more she's able to stack the shield, the higher and higher this will be. So as, as I said, once again, she needs that extra healing from her teammate because she does not have the necessary healing from her other abilities over here in order to keep on progressing and maximizing the value of the shield that she's able to create. So let's look at next ability, Meteor Shower. Taylene calls down a fiery meteor and deals damage. When Taylene is in Phoenix form, meteorites will continually fall randomly every 0.5 second upon that random enemy target for a certain time. The level two, increases the skill damage, so it's 200 all the way to 240%. The level three, 30% of damage is converted into health. And the level four, the damage is increased from 200 all the way to 280%. So as we can see over here, she has a bit of life leech that she can acquire from this ability where she can heal herself for a small amount. So as we look at next ability, Phoenix Rising. Every time Taylene dies, she transforms into a fireball. So this is a little fire icon that is placed on the ground underneath enemies or allied heroes. While in this state, Taylene recovers her health every second and cannot be targeted by her enemies, but will still receive the positive effects of her ally skills. So what this means, if your allies have an AOE heal, this heal will be converted into health for Taylene as well. Once Taylene's health reaches a higher level, so this is exactly 50%, she is reborn, resulting in a brilliant explosion that deals 200% area damage to enemies. Taylene's recovery rate is reduced by 20% every subsequent time that she transforms into a fireball. So this damage or AOE damage is increased from 200 all the way to 320% when you unlock the 30 engravings. So as we can see, this is a massive amount of damage. And each time she is in this fireball state, Taylor recovers 7% of her max health. So what this fireball state does, this allows you to essentially die and then resurrect multiple times throughout battle. So you can distract enemies, essentially forcing the enemies to attack Taylene while your allies are easily able to sit back, relax, and deal maximum amount of damage to the enemies. So let's have a look at the next ability, Afterglow, which is a passive. Taylene's two most engine allies recover their health each time Taylene community loses her health for a certain amount. So this pairs excellently with her ultimate ability. The level two, three, and 60 engravings increase the health recovery to 270% of her attack rating. So this is a significant amount of extra healing that she can provide for her allies. So as we can see, every single time she loses 10% of her max health, her allies will receive healing of 150% of Taylene's attack rating as health. 
So let's have a look at a signature item. When you un unlock Resurgence, Celine's attack rating and defense rating are increased every time she's reborn using a Phoenix Rising skill ability. So as we can see, it increased by 10% at, for attack rating and 20% for defense. Now this is further increased by her 10 upgrade. This is increased from 10 to 20% for attack rating and then 20% to 40% defense rating each time she is reborn. Level 20 unlock. Taylene immediately recovers 120 points of energy each time she is reborn. And this is further buffed by a 30 unlock. Taylene immediately recovers 400 points of energy each time this happens. So what this means is that each time she resurrects, she can nearly immediately cast her ultimate, which allows her to gain that shield, heal her allies, and deal massive amounts of damage to the enemies. So let's have a look at her furniture over here. Now, when you unlock the Burning Sun 3 out of 3, Taylene deals AoE damage every second to nearby enemies while in fireball state. So this is the dead state and converts some of the damage dealt to enemies into her health. So this is an additional portion of how she can get more healing for herself. The 9 of 9. When any allies on the battlefield have a lower percentage of health than Taylene, she then actively converts her current health into permanent shield of equal value for herself. If the value converted exceeds a certain amount, a meteorite of the same effect as the skill Meteor Shower will be summoned against a random enemy. So this gives her additional damage from this particular unlock. So let's have a look at how she does in battle. So as we can see over here, she starts the battle and she shoots a couple of fireballs into the enemies. She starts at a long range. Now, once she gains... A couple of energy so as we can see she's nearly at full energy over here she's going to convert her health into a shield there we go there's the permanent shield then she summons a couple of meteors from the sky raining down on the enemies and one shotting a couple of them along the way there we go she's healing our allies getting a bigger shield and each time the shield increases in value this will increase the amount of damage that she does to the enemies now as we can see she has got a ranged ability which is the meteor and the little fireballs that she rains from the skies and then she has the slash that she uses a fiery sword to hit multiple targets at a time so let's have a look at how she does at a much higher level deficit now as we can see over here her main purpose is to provide a significant amount of a distraction and healing for your allies so as we can see over here in this particular team she did the most amount of healing distracting the enemies by dying and resurrecting and not allowing the enemies to be able to deal damage to the allied heroes. So let's have a look at how she does in this particular battle over here. So when she starts battle, she in most cases gets one shot. This converts all of her health into healing for her allies. So as we can see, one of her allies had very low health. Then Taylene over here converted her health into a shield and healing for her allies. There we go. There's a permanent shield. Now she's in Phoenix form. Now she's going to rain down meteors from the sky. There we go. It hit your uh, Saurus over here. And now she was easily able to protect and heal her allies with her massive amount of healing that she can provide for her teammates. So what is the minimum investment? that I would recommend into this hero? Now I would highly recommend getting her 30 signature item, nine furniture and 30 engravings the reason for this all of these abilities synergize extremely well with one another so for example from a furniture over here we can see she gains additional healing and aoe damage in addition she also gains an additional meteor which does a massive amount of single target damage to the enemies her signature item the reason why it's extremely powerful is this permanent increase of her attack and defense rating that she gets each time she resurrects. And in addition, each time she resurrects, she gains a massive amount of energy through 400 points of energy, which allows her to use her ultimate faster and deal more damage to the enemies. Now, I would also recommend getting her at least to 30 engravings. The reason for this is allows her to gain that additional survivability, convert more health into attack rating or healing for your allies and she's able to do more damage to the enemy heroes.